carving, that was a horrible imitation of it, a new you, okay? So today is the first day that we're opening up the group, so welcome. Um, you're going to see mostly the familiar faces. Again, as people want to try new programs, they will be added later on. Um, or I'm probably just going to tell them to wait until November, okay? So I'm really, really, really getting to be a little bit more sticky on the challenge groups and what's going on, what people are doing, da 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 da, da because towards, like, we have two and a half months left of this year, okay? That's huge. And then what usually happens, especially now that it's getting cooler out and the big comfy sweaters are coming out, what do people do? They hibernate, naturally, right? It's like, oh, I don't have to walk around in a tank top. People aren't going to see my belly. It's covered up. You know what I mean? Like, I have that mentality too. And I'm totally guilty of, honestly, ever since my birthday last weekend, I've ate not crap all week, but I haven't really cared. You know what I mean? Because you can exactly that. Just put the big comfy sweater on and you eat what you want. You do what you want. And then guess what happens? You gain the weight right? And then two and a half months left of this year. And then what happens January 1st? Holy crap, I just gained 30 pounds in two months. What just happened? Now I have to work my butt off 10 times harder to get it off, right? No, 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 no. We're not doing that this year, okay? We are in this group for a reason because we want to be held accountable. We want to eat better. We want to get our workouts in. And this is a smaller group for a reason, because you guys are the ones who have showed me that you are dedicated and determined not to gain those 30 pounds in the next two months, right? You are going to kick butt, and you are going to either maintain, which is better than gaining any day, or you are going to keep losing the weight, or you're going to tone out, or you're going to build muscle. That is what this group is for, okay? That's our goals. That's what we're doing. Obviously... I want you to go back to the goal planning sheet that I gave you last month, if you've gotten one. If you're new, I'll send you one. Go through that list again. See if your goals have changed. See if you can tweak them even a little bit, just to add even a little detail. Like if you said, um, what's an example? I'm not going to eat after 8 o'clock, right? Look back on the last month. How many times did you actually eat after 8 o'clock? Right? The last two months, how many times did you eat after 8 o'clock? Why? What was going on? What forced you to eat after 8 o'clock? And then add to it. So like for example, if I say, I'm not going to eat after 8 o'clock. And then one day I do, but it's because my P90X class goes till 7.30 and I didn't have time in between jobs to do it. I'm going to say, I'm going to look at that and I'm going to see that, right? And then it's going to change to not just, I'm not going to eat after 8 o'clock, but if I do, because reality, right, I'm going to have a salad, or I'm going to have chicken, or I'm going to have tuna. I'm going to have something that's uh, low in carbs, no carbs, no, no, no carbs after 7, if you can, ever. That's just me, though. But if you want to follow it, I highly recommend it. Um, and like veggies and protein, right? So it's tweaking it, it's adding to it, it's making it more of a plan, and a realistic plan, okay? So, for today, I'm babbling, sorry, I get super excited, because it's a new fresh start, and we're going to give her hard, okay? We are just coming, today's Thanksgiving, I have a dinner, I'm going out to Pine Falls to have a dinner, this is going to be my second one, right? By tomorrow, I'm probably going to be five pounds heavier, right? So as of tomorrow... We are going to be starting fresh. We are going to be jumping on those scales. I want everybody on your scale, if you have one, tomorrow morning. See what your weight is. Do your before measurements. I want everyone in this group, because I see a lot of people don't really take advantage of this, and I'm like, why? Take your before pictures. If you don't want to send them to me, that's fine. Put them on your Beachbody profile, go into, go log into teambeachbody.ca, click Beachbody Challenge, click Take the Challenge, and upload your before pictures. That's all you gotta do. 
Actually, I don't even think you have to do the before pictures right up front. I think it's just clicking take the challenge, right? And then it'll start as of tomorrow. Because guess what? At the end of your program, whatever your program is, it doesn't do it per 30 days, it does it per program. So if you have a 21 day fix and you start tomorrow, 21 days later, you submit the before and after pictures, the before and after measurements, you get a free t-shirt. Why? Why don't you do it? I have like 10 free t-shirts from all the different programs I've done. And it's like a huge accomplishment and almost like a reward. You know what I mean? Because if you know you did those last 20 days, 21 days, to the best of your ability, even if you didn't lose weight, even if you didn't reach your goals, you will have that t-shirt in your drawer for the next however many years until you donate it or you give it to someone or whatever you do with it. It reminds you, I was determined for those 21 days and I'm damn proud because you did it and you should be proud, right? I wear mine as t-shirts so I get to see them or I'll bring them to events and get the trainers to sign them. Like I will not wear my 21 day fix t-shirt ever because Autumn signed it herself personally and I'm like, oh, this is my trophy, <laughs> right? Like it's huge. So get that stuff done for, mm. I'd like for you to send it to me. I would. And I can guarantee you, like, I'm not judging anyone ever about anything. Like, anything that you've done, I've probably done too. Trust me. I've done it all. Okay? So, I don't judge. And I have private folders for everyone that are locked, that no one can get into. And I'll keep your before and after pictures and your measurements and all that stuff in your section. Okay? And it's on my computer. And my computer has a password and stuff, right? I'm the only one that uses it. And it stays at home. So there's nothing to be scared of. And why I ask this is because for situations like people who have lost 30 pounds, I have your first picture, right? And then I have your end picture and sometimes people don't save them or they don't keep them because they don't think it's a big deal. But when you put those two pictures side by side, and I've done this for a couple people who think, hey, I haven't done very good. Holy crap. 360 of an attitude, 360 of, you know what I mean, like, they're like, holy crap, like, that, you can totally see the difference, because you can, right, it's huge, and it's so important, and you need to feel so proud of yourself, of accomplishments like that, it's important, and even if you don't see results, or even if it's just a little bit, like, I did one before my 21 day fix, and before, um, at the end of it, for the 21 day fix extreme, and it was only, like, that much, on my belly but I felt like a million dollars because I'm like guess what the belly is the hardest part to lose from and when you even lose that much that's huge You're like oh I did it right or even just seeing the definition of the abs coming in or whatever like when you get to that stage or seeing that some of the fat is gone seeing that you're getting more toned out seeing that you have more muscle all that stuff feels so good so why not acknowledge it why not set yourself up to see it right most people We'll take their weight, we'll take their measurements, and they, they'll be proud, but not as proud, I guarantee you, as looking at those two pictures. And if you see a difference, and you, you won't always, I went six months where I didn't see a difference, and I didn't care. I still did them, right? Because then you can say, maybe this month will be different, right? Maybe I'm going to push harder. Maybe I'm going to be more determined. And it's a darn good thing I got that picture before to prove it, right? So it's a good motivation. I had my before picture as my screensaver on my phone, showing off my belly, hanging over my pants, and that was my motivation. I'm like, I don't want to look like that anymore. I don't want to feel like crap. And knowing that when you have um, belly fat, that is the worst area realistically to have fat on your body because then Actually, I'm not even going to go into it right now because that's going to be a day's lesson. But just know having the fat on your belly is the worst place to have it on your body. You'll find out later. Um, and so it's a huge goal to try and work to get rid of it. It's also the hardest one, right? Like, I can bust my butt off for a month and my arms are toned, my legs are toned. The belly is the only place that's still there. Gotta love the way the body is set up, right? Anyway, I'm babbling, I'm going off topic, this video is way too long for my liking. I just wanted to thank you guys for being in this group. Do your before pictures, do your before measurements, 
get this stuff done. We're going to open up tomorrow. Have your food prep ready. Have your grocery list. Go get your food. Plan out your meals for the week if you can. If you're like me, at least just have tomorrow done. And we'll figure out the next day later. But make sure it's following your plan. Every single program you buy through your Team Beachbody site comes with a nutrition guide. Okay? So if you're not following the 21 Day Fix, at least read through the program guide that you get. So some people are doing the P90X3, which I love by the way, and I'm probably going to be incorporating some of those into my routine. It comes with the nutrition guide. It's going to come, I think it's the P90X actually nutrition guide that they recommend. And if you are doing the P90X3 every day, like it's uh, recommended, then yes, do follow that eating plan. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be doing... Oh, I probably should have thought of this before I started the video. I'm going to be doing, obviously, my P90X classes, um, but because I've already trained for it and I'm pretty